Hey man, I just, I just got done lifting. And, um, I know you're going to Iowa, you know, but uh, I, I talked to Coach D and he said um, that he wants you if you can't get another guy. And to me, you know, like I said, it's, it's more about pick and choose and recruiting process. And I, I'm not all for, you know, uh, for the, the pick and choose where, you know, if they don't if they don't get a guy that wants you and stuff. I mean, that's that's not for me. I want to, like, I want to, I want to, I want to go somewhere that, you know, the coach definitely wants me, doesn't want, you know, another guy over me. So that's why uh, you know, I, I love to come here to Iowa this time. And, you know, five years later, yeah. What do you think your story is? Was, was it the, was it the place for you, or do you ever? Oh, I mean, I, I definitely love definitely love Iowa City. You know, it's, it's a great place. My uh, head coach in high school went to Iowa City, and you know, we used to always hear stories. He went to U of I. Yeah, he oh, really? was a uh, captain, uh, Tom Grind. He played tight end. I I want to say What's his last name? Grind, G R I N E. He um I want to say late seventies. He, he was a captain. Uh, he, uh, I'm pretty sure his senior year he went, uh, went, was on the Owen 10, Owen 10 season, and uh, you know, he's always talked about his stories. You know, growing up, I, I met him at an early age. He was the uh, high school coach. I remember meeting him in like middle school, and you know, he, ever since then he's always talked about Iowa, and how, how great Iowa City is, and, and stuff like that. And I've always, you know, I, me being an Ohio State Michigan fan, you know, I've always just said, oh, okay, you know, the Hawkeyes, you know, that's good, that's good. But then uh, during the career process, you know, he. He didn't want to, you know, come in, be too biased on me, and, and let me know, you know, that he wanted me to go to Iowa City, and you know, it, it, it was really evident that that when uh, when Coach Parker started coming in, that you know, I, I loved, started to love, you know, the University of Iowa, and uh, you know, he didn't he didn't let me know anything, and he didn't try to like be too biased on my opinion. Did you know anybody there when you went there as a freshman? Um, Do no, you know I anybody in your recruiting class or no. players on the team? No, I mean, I think I, I think I was the last recruit to sign of my class. So I remember, you know, we have we have talks now because we all know each other. And I remember talking to Keenan, and Keenan said, you know, um, Micah Heights coming here. Someone told him Micah Heights coming here, and he just thought to himself, who, who the hell is Micah <laughs> like, Who's that kid? Uh, but you know, I didn't. I didn't know anybody. I didn't. I mean, I. Uh, I remember junior year, we was playing a team, and uh, they happened to play Brad Rogers' team in high school. You know, Brad Rogers went to Central Catholic and uh, Toledo Central Catholic, and he was a uh, big name. I'm pretty sure he was. He uh, re he uh, was recruited by Iowa like his junior year, and he committed. And I remember watching him on tape my senior year, I think, and I knew he was going to Iowa. That was the only person that I you know had contact with. Or actually, I didn't even have contact with that I knew was going to Iowa of my class. And then right after, you know, this signing day and stuff like that, Coach Park gave me a number and we, you know, we met up a couple times. Or we, we talked a couple times. You know, we was getting texts from uh, from you know Coach Doyle and stuff like that. You know, about like team runs and stuff like that. So other than that, you know, I, I went out to Iowa City and I was you know uh, dumbfounded with you know, who to meet and stuff like that. Who'd you get? Yeah, rooming with right away. Um, it was an adventure when I first got there. Uh, I got there the summer of uh, 2009, and I uh, was staying with Mike Daniels. And you talk about an adventure. Oh my <laughs> god, that, that guy. Uh, he would shut off the air conditioning. It'd be 110 out. I swear. He shut off the air conditioning because he had a fan upstairs for himself. He uh, he would walk around the house in just boots all day, and you could just hear him throughout the whole house. Just walking around, you know, we were, you know, tiny little freshmen. We couldn't say nothing to him. Like, we couldn't turn on the air conditioning because he'd come down and yell at us or whatever. And, he just uh, didn't want to pay for it. Or? They, I guess he, uh, I guess they split up the, the bill. Him and uh, Adam Geddes. That Adam had to pay for something, and he had to pay for air conditioning. I, I don't know what it was, what it was about, but uh, yeah, he, Mike did not turn on the air conditioning. I remember just laying on the couch and just sticking to it and just fresh me out like, oh my god this is this is uh this is not fun uh i mean that must have been was it intimidating or, or scary to go to a place where you didn't know anybody um i mean that's, that's what college is about you know to, to be honest you know uh, you go to places and you know even if you want to know a couple of people you know you gotta meet you know you, you, you gotta you gotta survive. You gotta live there for a while. Um, I don't think it was really intimidating. I think the uh, I, 
think coming in the first day as a freshman and actually lifting with other people, that might have been intimidating because you, you look around and you just like think, oh my God, you know, these guys are huge. But um, no, I, I uh, actually had fun. You know, I was living with Brad Keenan, Cotton, um, and Tyler Harrow, which is no longer at Iowa. You know, that was, that was who we were. We was uh, all staying with my game. It was, it was an adventure. It was fun. What big a place was this? Uh, well, it wasn't very big. We were all sleeping. We all had to bring our uh, air mattresses and sleep in the living room. It wasn't a, like I said. It wasn't a. It wasn't an adventure. That's for sure. What's it like for you now to be in that sort of position where you have guys looking up to you? Um. No, I just I just take for what it is. Um, you know, I was a freshman one time, I was a sophomore one time, and uh, you know I looked up I looked up to a lot of guys. You know, Greenwood, Sash, Bernstein. You know, a lot of people. Not even just defensive backs, but you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people on the team like Pat Anger, Moyaki, Stanzi. Like, I mean, it was it was a. Uh, I, I really think I'm fortunate, you know, to uh, go through some you know some great teams to Iowa. Uh, you know, we, we did some great players. And uh, you know, I just try to do do what they did. Uh, you know, lead lead the younger guys, and and uh, if they have any questions, just answer to the best of my ability. You know, if they they need a you know they need a haircut. You know, I'll take them, I'll give them a barber's number. You know, they need <laughs> they need just anything. You know, I'll try to you know try to convince them. You know, and to do the right thing and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's not it's not like anything new. It's not a you know a lot of responsibility, but. I just try to do the best I can with it. You, you say that you tell them to go to a barber or you give them numbers. Is there anybody who ha, ha, has had a haircut before that you're just like, what are you doing? Or um, the, the funny thing is, is, I mean, you go out to, I went out to Iowa City and I, you know, there were signs where my hair would just be all over the place. You know, because I didn't, I didn't know any, I would wait till I come home to, to Ohio to get my haircut because I didn't know anybody else out in Iowa City. So, uh, um, I finally, I, DJK actually hooked me up with, you know, his barber, and ever since then I've been going to the same guy, and that's what I recommend when anybody asks, you know, uh, hey, where can I go get my haircut? You know, a lot of freshmen come in, they don't, same thing I did is, you know, where can I get a haircut at? And uh, I actually had uh, my roommate, Brad Rogers, you know, he uh, cut my hair a couple times. I wouldn't say it was, you know, perfect, but I wasn't, I wouldn't say it was too bad, you know, he, he hooked me up and uh, he kept me right for a couple times. You guys... Um, you guys are going to be wearing different uniforms twice. You're going to wear the throwbacks against Iowa State, and yeah. you're going to wear the pro combat against somebody. Um, is that a big deal to players? I mean, everybody makes a big deal of it, but is that is that a big deal to players? Um, no, I'd be I'd be lying to you if I said no. Yeah, I, I definitely think it is. You know, uh, when you when you get new uniforms for a game, and you know you're out there and you get just during uh, the pregame when you're getting dressed up and you see the uniforms and stuff like that, it's it's a great feeling. You know, they say uh, the saying is if if you if you feel like you look good, you play good, and uh, that's that's the way you feel. You know, when you have uh, you know the throwback game that we had, you know, uh, I think it was two years ago. Um, yeah, you know, that was just a perfect example of you know you just you get new uniforms on, and you feel like you you play better, you run faster, you're stronger. It's I don't know, it's just one of them feelings, and you know. You know, I, I'm actually you know, pretty happy for the, for the games coming up. You know, we get new uniforms, and, and actually we got we did get new uh, new regular uniforms this year too. So what's the, what's the difference on those?